I mean, I still don't think him, like, I don't think any man doing anything with a younger female, like, as long as she's of age, mm. is weird or creepy. I have a daughter with a man that's 20 years older than me. And he, I mean, and I was crazy in love with him. Mm. I mean, he swept me off my feet. I, it, was, I, it was like the best, like, five years, of, I don't know, four years of my, I don't know, four years of my life, something like that. And it ultimately ended because he cheated on me with an even younger girl. And she was Asian. And it, and I was, I, so, I mean, it's almost like I was born. <laughs> it's almost like I was born to defend Woody Allen, okay? So, oh, and shit. it, and anyway, so, and that turned into like Stockholm this. Stockholm syndrome going on, I think, here, Sandra. <laughs> and this turned into like some horrible, like, s- love triangle. I mean, where ultimately he ended up leaving both of us for an even, for younger, an even girl. younger girl. Exactly. Yeah. And somewhere along the line. I guess that. I told, I know I should have red fly should have was should she, have seen it was coming. She Asian as well, or just no, like no, no. Off? And then he left her a black for girl. A, well, Russian no, no. Baby. Then he left her for a, a Filipino, but she was older. I mean, she's still younger than me, but she was older than the last girl that he left. Both me I and see. this, yeah. Right. Anyways, but somewhere along the line, I ended up losing a wakeboard boat and I gained a piano, <laughs> and I don't know. Who used to own this piano? But I'm just assuming whoever used to play this piano has my Air Nautique sitting in their garage. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it's winterized. But I'm just saying, listen, okay, he was rich. And I'm sorry, money makes for good sex. It really does. And anyone who's had sex with a very wealthy man will contest to this. I mean, you just have the best sex with rich people. I don't like fuck broke chicks, so I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, and I'm, like, it's, it, listen, if your relationship doesn't end with like broken windows and cars being keyed, you just didn't Did have good really sex. So I had to leave that relationship because once I found out there was a third girl involved, I'm like, oh, this is even too crazy for me. Mm. Like, I'm not right. even there's there's no way I'm not. What am I fighting for here? Like, I, I'm not, who am I fighting against? Like, this is just it's too crazy for me. But and it kind of worked out because I started doing comedy. And as a weird, like cosmic, I don't know, like unforeseeable thing i ended up hooking up with a 20 a 20 year old mm. on my after my first open mic well, and it's okay for women i mean isn't that, is isn't it, that the double standard it's not the double standard of the world that like, nobody really bats an eye about it if it's a woman doing it but it, you know but he was, you didn't date his dad no not that i know and of. you didn't know him when he was 12 i don't think i knew him when he was 12. there you go i wouldn't have cared though totally here's different. the thing it's a totally different but situation. here's the thing even if i would have known him when he was 12 if I would have ran into him later on at that bar when he was 20. Okay, at 12. That's knowing and like sleeping in his home and getting him Christmas gifts is different though. That's no, different. I still would have. I don't care. Like, I, no, I had never in if my life. If I was life... his stepmom, I would have fucked him at 20 is what you're saying? Yes. There it is. I have never in hey, my life and you, been and so. And if you're comfortable with that, then you're comfortable with that. Because the thing is there's a difference between 12 and 20 and honestly, and I'm not attracted. There is. And I'm not attracted to children. So I would not right. have been attracted to him as I a 12 year old. But as a 20 year old, when I met him in the bar and, but there would have been some grooming there and it would have been a little... But little, he... I had never in my life pas, been so sure. attracted to somebody in my life. Ever. I mean, like, I zeroed in on him and, like, I cornered him and I just kept talking to him and I gave him cigarettes and then, like, we went to another mic and he got me high and then I invited him to a, a, a Burning Man party where I knew there was going to be drugs and I gave him drugs and then <laughs> I fucked him in a basement on his 21st birthday. Like, he turned 21, like... When we were having sex, I didn't. I thought he was twenty one. I didn't know he was twenty. Right. But anyways, he met him in a bar. But yeah, met him in sure. a bar. Right. And I don't care. Like if I would have known him as twelve, I still would have done it when he was twenty because I had. He, I was so attracted to him. 